Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will see how we can create a Gantt chart in Power BI. So first I will show you the data that I will be using. I have this Excel here, which has the fields, phase, task, project initiation. So this is a data for a project, simple project. Milestone, the date, start and end, percentage complete, and the resources used in the project at, in, during that phase. Now here I have already connected my data and it's appearing here. If you want, to, if you don't know how to do it, you can simply go here in Excel workbook and connect your Excel sheet or any other, how you want to get your data, you can connect it from get data. Now this is the Gantt chart is actually a custom visual. So we will add that custom visual to our Power BI first. So I'll go here, click on get more visuals. And here I will search for, it's already here, the Gantt chart. So I will select this. And I'll simply click add. Now you see it has been imported. Okay. Now we select the chart. Let's bring it in the middle. And now let's start populating. So in our legends, we will have the phase. Task will be task. Parent will be the milestone. I'll add the start date, the end date. I do not have a duration, but you can add that field here also. Percentage complete and our resources. Let's expand this and see how our chart looks like. So now you see, this is what Power BI has created for us. Project initiation, let's see, development testing, it's showing us the percentage complete. If you hover over it, it's telling you the legend, the task, end date, completion, and the resource, it's also appearing here. Let's further go and see how we can format it. So in the generals, you can add group task, scroll to color and time if you have a very large uh, field here, but you leave it. So you display grid lines, duration unit, and all these. I'll leave it as it is. You can also add the days off. So we have added it here. So it's only allowing one. We will put it as Sunday. So now here also you can see that there were three Sundays in between. Also in the legends, if you want to keep him, yes, we do. And you are they are appearing here. You can change the color if you want. I'll just leave it as it is, phase one, phase two, phase three. You can add a legend name if you want to, but let's just bring it at top. Yeah. So I'll close this. In the category label, if you want it, you can change the font size, the width. Let's see if we can increase this width a little more. Let's make it 200. Yeah. I'll just expand this or just let's make it 180. Now it's fine. Let's just expand it a bit more. Okay, can I decrease it a further more? Oh, if we do it 170. Okay, then it's fine. In the task completion, it's on maximum completion. If you want, just we leave it as it is. If you remove it, it will not show then. But now here you can see the task completion also. If you remove the day off, you can easily see the task completion here. Now, tooltips if you want to have task settings, task color, data labels if you want to keep, or if you don't want to keep, and the size and the font. The data type, this is the data type that we can modify if you want to keep it as month, but it will remove everything. If we put it as day, it will be too much information. So we'll keep it as week. In the general tab, you can change general form formatting. So properties of the chart, if the height, title, if you want to keep it, let's just make it as uh, time, Project timeline, 
status and timeline we can bring it in the middle and we can add a background color so this is how our title will look like if you want to add any effects background if you want to have a visual border if you want to have a shadow data format if you want to change i don't think we need that and so on and so forth so this is how you can easily create a gantt chart in power bi i hope this video helped keep watching for more and don't forget to subscribe thank you